Hi, my name is Max and I'm the creator of My Little Pony, The Last Generation. We're not that far into production yet, but with the help of you guys, and we are so thankful for everybody who's already like interested in it without, um, <laughs> like, us having anything. <laughs> We're very grateful for everybody who's already interested in the show, and we've gotten nothing but support for it. Thank you so much. And I do want to go ahead and say that if you want to make production a little bit faster, we do have a Patreon. It is patreon.com forward slash MLPTLG. We also have a Twitter and an Instagram, which is also forward slash MLPTLG. No hyphen to no underscores, just one big run. <laughs> anyway, so as the director, I thought that I should do something for the May birthdays. So today we're going to actually be focusing on Kimono's birthday. Kimono is one of my favorites um on mysterious friend team specifically because she's a dragon <laughs> kimono is actually a dragon pony she is half unicorn and half dragon her father is one of the villains of her season but he actually turns out to not be a villain so don't be scared about that <laughs> she also owns two breezies wish i may and wish i might together these three are um well, two of them are kind of dumb. One of them's really smart. And that's actually Wisteria's entire character archetype. She's very, very smart. And she can predict the future at some cost. So now that you guys have a little bit of background on Kimono without really spoiling much, because all this kind of happens in the first three episodes, <laughs> we're going to be doing some cool craft for her birthday. I didn't want to do a drawing because I felt like that would be too easy. And if you watch me on YouTube, um you know that we don't do the easy way out. So first, what you do is take all of your supplies for this project and move them over. So you can crack open a colon with the boys. All right, so for this craft, you're actually going to need a pencil, some glue, an X-Acto knife. Be careful with these. I've cut myself way too many times. If you're under 18, don't touch them at all. I we'll also have extra knives because sometimes I break blades. Extra knives, wait. A glue stick, did I already say that? We have an internal light, which I'll show you why we need this in just a minute. We also have construction paper for our nice little lady kimono. Should I put down a mat, maybe? Yeah, let's not like rip our table up today. <laughs> like we did last week. So kimono's color scheme is yellow and purple so i'm probably going to make two lanterns for her right now uh oh wait is, did i say that we're doing that yeah all right well i just we're making lanterns i hope i have purple construction paper i also like kimono's colors i've never been one for purple and yellow together even though they're complementary of each other and they're supposed to look good i just don't like purple or yellow that much so I was iffy about kimono's design at first, but um, it turned out very cool. Thank you, Kanye, Kofifi. Since I'm bad and bougie, um, after I, why didn't I color code these? Good God. I'm just gonna pull out all my purples and all my yellows. I should have actually probably um, figured out how to color code before beginning anything. Um, that would have been a huge help. Hmm, since her cutie mark is yellow, I think we'll go ahead and start with a yellow lantern. So what you need to do, I should have gotten a ruler, but I don't own one of those. So we're just gonna guess, I suppose. Turns out I did have one. So we're going to measure out. We love DIYs. I'm probably not the best person to even be doing a DIY. Anyways, so measure out about one and a half centimeters from each corner. So I'm going to go through that there and then do the same thing for the other side. Well, when you get your ruler lined up, my ruler is bent and it's annoying me. Let's go. Okay, so now that you got that, you're actually going to go across one of the bottoms, take your ruler, and measure about one centimeter on every single one of these. Okay. 
can my cat not crawl on the cat tower that's like two inches away from me and almost knock it over on my face? That would be absolutely stellar. So now you're going to take time out of your day to put lines up in her. I'm a 20 year old grown man sitting here playing with construction papers for ponies. I should I be disappointed in myself or should I like so be careful when you use exacto knives once again i almost cut myself in the first four seconds i really just forgot what i was gonna do oh all right so what you're gonna do is just cut across these You scared the hell out of me. Don't make me jolt when I'm holding the knife. Spooky, you got me all messed up. I just double cut one of these. So your next point of action, okay, and there's little ridges all over this thing, is to take it and roll it over like this. Because now you've got little slits everywhere. Should I use tape because I'm impatient? Really considering it. Nah. So, you're going to take your Elmer's glue and put a little dot of glue at the end of one of these. And then put a little dot of glue at the other end. Now I gotta hold this here until it dries. <laughs> so now you end up with this bleppy thing. This. Come on, out, out, go, go, leave. So now you got this little thing that you can do stuff with. Like, push it down and let it come back up. Ooh, 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 she fun. All right. I'm literally like five years old. So now we're gonna take this purple construction paper and roll it up inside of this base. It ain't even even. I s so we ain't playing that game. I'm about to go get some tape. Oh, I think I also forgot to promote this as well, but we also have a fan Discord server where you guys can talk to all the voice actors and participate in the Battle of the Royal Sisters, which is a cool thing that nobody's participating in. So we have this thing where you can pick your favorite side for characters and whatever you choose, I'm gonna stick this, by the way, down in here. And whatever you, wait, whatever you, don't tell me this is too big. I swear to God, I'll eat my hat. Yeah, okay, don't break your project while you're doing it too. Um, I did that to my final. You're seeing a picture now. So what you're gonna do is take it and like push it down. Have your tape on it. Take it down to where you want it and then tape that. You can take this other one and tape this too. Ow! Did I ever just rocket launch the scotch tape dispenser into your... Huh, every craft I've ever done has ended up bad. What's up with this? Something will go awry in like four minutes. All right. They get more tape. <laughs> tape it around the parts that didn't get taped before when you tape the other round parts. Actually, I have an idea. See, this is the part where it gets bad. I'm gonna cut this part off. And, yes, and overlap. Um, overall, it kind of looks like crap here at the top, but we're not gonna talk about that. Um, all I did was put the light inside of the base. And I mean, the colors are like really pretty. I actually really like this. This was really like super duper fun. Y'all thought we were gonna go without announcing contest winners. So we decided for each birthday to be able to hold a contest where the voice actor for the specific character picks the contest winner for the birthday contest. I do wanna make a quick announcement before we start with Komodo though, who we will introduce in a minute. <laughs> we are holding Rainbow Dash's birthday on May 20th. So if you wanna do that, like, do it tonight. <laughs> Don't wait until the 15th to do it, all right? Uh, so that's my tea on that. Now, let's meet Kimono and figure out who our contest winner is. Hello, every pony. As you may have guessed, it's Kimono here. Uh, it's my birthday, obviously. And I'm here to pick a winner for the art competition for my birthday. I feel like it's going to be a little awkward considering the people that submitted arts are my friends, but I'm sure they'll get over it. And thank you, Max, for that lovely introduction. 
I was going to screen record, and then I uh, ran into a computer issue that even my magic couldn't solve. So, poor Max will just have more editing to do. And with that being said, I feel like it's very fitting to review his submission for me first. So, I'm going to start off by saying, I could see the pure frustration in your eyes while you were making this, but also the pure joy. And I appreciate both of those emotions, mostly your frustration. I also very much appreciate the dark composition of the piece, the image as a whole. It reminds me of my dark childhood. That may or may not be canon, I'm not quite sure. I have to say, this is pretty solid. I wish you couldn't see the tape at the top of it, but you get it, did a good job uh, masking your internalized frustration, so good job. Next up is one of our lovely voice actresses, Persicity. I want to start off by saying that I love the personality and characterization in this piece. It really just screams, yay, birthday. Cherry Blossom looks a little uh, panicked, but who wouldn't be panicked on my birthday? You never know. Maybe I could uh, be a little more dragon than Pony on my birthday, I suppose. Super cute overall. I love the texture in the background and also the lovely happy birthday wish at the bottom there. Thank you. Also, Rainbow Dash looks, as much as I hate to admit it, very lovely in this image. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Up next, we have another lovely voice actress, Cozy Kitty. I, I love the style of this piece. It's very original. I love that it pictures me reading a book because, you know, I love books, as everyone knows. I also very much love the adorable little happy birthday at the top. It really pulls it all together. You know, talking like this, it reminds me of a uh, Bob Ross. Happy little birthday. ASMR. I love the, uh, the little touches of light. You're, you're all making this, uh, decision very difficult on me. I'm not sure which I like the best. I really, really like this one. Next up, we have Kaserat. Hopefully I said that right. I would hate to get that wrong because it's another one of our voice actresses. I love the, uh, style in this piece too. It's really nice. And the font is so cute. I'm just liking all of these pieces. I have no idea what to pick right now. It's one of the few times where I don't know what to do. I love how flattering the angle is personally. I like it when angles flatter me. So thank you for the uh, lovely angle. I especially love the detail of my fluffy little ears overall. Great job, I love the simplicity of it. And finally, man, all of these people are my colleagues. I wonder why. We have basic res and I really like this piece. It's got lovely detail. I like the little uh, way my figure seems to pop out. I very much enjoy the way you wrote my name. I might make my signature that now. I love all the all the little details in this piece. It's pretty pretty solid here. And my eyes. Man, my eyes look like they could stare into your soul in this picture. Like those piercing green eyes. Hmm. So that's all of the submissions here. Man, I'm, I'm almost glad we didn't have more because I'd have a really hard time picking if I had way more. All of these are very, very well thought out and detailed pieces. I just want to be like Bob Ross and say all of these are, are happy little pieces of art here. All right, so after a lot of thought, internal conflict, rising action, contemplation, I think my winner is Cozy Kitty. I just really overall really like this piece. It just sticks out to me when I look at it in comparison to all of the others. I think it's adorable. I will 100% probably use this as my profile picture in the fan discord, which you should go join. So go do that. I love this. I, I love all of these submissions. So thank all of you guys. It really means a lot to me. I haven't had too many very happy birthdays, so it's quite nice to have a really happy birthday. With that being said, I guess I should say bye. So, bye. It's been Kimono. Uh, 
guess I'll just uh, head out and go read or something. My dear Kimono, I, I realize this message may never reach you, but wherever you are, I, I just wanted to say happy birthday. I hope that one day you'll find it in your heart to return to me. Time is right. I love you.